What's going on, YouTube world? This is the boy with the Pampers and the Toys, Al, recording from Paradise. And um, today is going to be a fun-filled day. I hope everybody's having a great day at work. And um, what can we say? Great day at work. And um, I got my Scooby-Doo shirt. You know, I love Scooby-Doo. I think we all grew up on Scooby-Doo. Even people way older than me grew up on it. So... I'm representing Shaggy and Scooby for the snacks later. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to be talking about, it's going to be a Marvel Legends Day. And we're going to be talking about Marvel Speedball. I just picked this up actually at Target for $24.99. I really didn't want to pay that much. Well, it was twenty one. dollars I think it was $21.99. Yeah, $21.99. And so I was like, um, I never, I've read in the Spider-Man comic books and stuff. Uh, about Speedball so I am only know a little bit of history about him I, I never was really a fan of this character but he's not a bad character I like his powers and um, next we're going to be talking about the beautiful the beautiful, oh my god this is the most um, I, this is one of my favorite Thor action figures of all time honestly, besides the movie action figures this Thor right here is all that this is the Thor from the comic books that I remember reading when I was coming up and um, I actually got him at Target as well for twenty one ninety nine. And um, let's get into some things. Let's get into some Marvel things. It's going to be a short video today. So first, we're going to be talking about our Marvel Speedball. Now, I do know that um, I remember reading where when he was a scientist, uh, Robbie Darwin, I think his name is Robbie Baldwin. Okay. And he was exposed to an extra-dimensional energy source. He becomes Speedball, able to project the kinetic energy ball, allowing him to ball, bounce like a super-powered rubber ball. So basically, that energy protects... That bubble protects him from anybody's... No matter who it is. Magneto, Jane Grey, it just, it just protects him. I don't know about Jane... I mean, I don't know about Phoenix and Magneto. They're pretty uh, Omega... Uh, mutant. So I don't know if nobody can bypass their powers. So um, I remember reading in one of the comic books where his mom was um, on a soap opera with Mary Jane Watson, uh, the beautiful Mary Jane Watson, MJ, uh, Spider Man's girl. And so I don't really remember too much about him in the comic books, but let's get some things, see what's going on with him. I know he's him and. Um, I talked about Quake on the back, as you can see, the line, the list. I'm trying to get everybody. I'm trying my best to like to get everybody besides going online and ordering them because I feel like when you order them online, you're paying more, not just for shipping and handling, but if you find them in the stores, that's great. I think it's cheaper to get them in the store than online because who wants to put them online for a cheap price? Let's, let them, let's, let, let's make it make sense. Okay, so let's get this open and see the newest family of my Marvel collection behind me. It looks like they have a beautiful figure of a Sentinel. As well, you know, I'll be putting stuff in my drawer right here. Um, let's see. And, you know, I don't play about the trash. I'll put it in the... I know, I'm gonna let y'all be known on my videos. I'll put my trash in my bag. Not a slot. <laughs> okay. So with Marvel Speedball, the figure looks good. I think he looks just like the, what I remember him in the comic books. And he's more so on the superhero side than anything. Now, I remember when I uh, came across this figure, I had to bring back my memory a little bit of, like, when I read the comic books as a child, a teenager... Was he a villain or anti-villain? No, he was just like to fight crime and want to make a name for himself. He was a scientist. Bill Nye, the science guy type. And um, the figure looks good. Um, very double-jointed. Um, this body type is really perfect for him. But there's one thing that's missing. I wish they would have at least had some type of kinetic ball that he could have like held on to or maybe oh, excuse me. Gag, I'm human. Oh, 
I need to quit yawning on my videos. That's, that makes my my subscribers and my viewers be like, hey, stop. But, you know, when you work, you work. Um, they could have had some type of, um, like, inflated, like, rubber ball, plastic ball to put around him or something to that degree, some type of power. I like my action figures to actually have some type of power, just like, who can I give an example to? Storm or Gambit. Storm got the little lightning bolts. Um, she comes with the lightning bolts. And then um, Gambit comes with the hand cards. They could at least have like some changeable hands for him to at least have some type of kinetic ball energy because I just felt like Hasbro made this kind of quick. It's a beautiful figure. I'm not going to take that from them. But I will take off points because... He didn't have no type of um, changeable hands or something that net jurisdiction, you know, basically to have powers. Like, let's pay. We're we're paying all this money for your products, but at the same time, give us something slightly not what we want, but what we deserve. Meaning that if this is what I saw him in the comic book, him having them powers, can he come with like one hand with a, some? Uh, them little uh, kinetic ball energies shooting out of his hand, something to that degree. But definitely, um, not really a fan of of him. I think he's a beautiful sculpted figure. I think they do the justice on that. And um, I didn't read too many comic books with this character. He just was, and he didn't stand out for me when I was coming up or recently. But I will add him to my Marvel Legends Behind Me Family Collection. And um, he can definitely stand up. That's what I'm... Well, can he stand up? Because I know sometimes Marvel... This is what I want Marvel to work on. Work on let, allowing these figures to stand up on their own. Please. But, as you can see, he's standing up. I don't know if I should push my desk back. On my camera, I don't know. This is the ring. Look, look at him. He fell, y'all. He fell. <laughs> but he can stand up. Well, to a degree. So I will be taking... His feet are not the greatest. So I'm a little disappointed in that. But the figure is beautiful. But I'll give it a 9.5 out of a 10. Just because they didn't have no type of... Um, energy source of powers for him. And his feet are not the greatest, you know, like flat to stand up. He kind of remind me of the female with heels. You know, it's hard to stand up to women with heels or their feet are just smudged. But definitely he gets a 9.5. I would highly recommend, um, if you are a big Marvel fan, get them. Collect them. Put them in your Spider-Man universe. I... I'm trying to recall if I ever read a comic book with him and Spider-Man uh, joining forces. I can't remember, but in the comics in the future, tell me some things. Teach me some things. All right, so we're going to move on. We're going to definitely put him um, with the other. Let's talk about our Thor, one of my favorite action figures. This, I mean, this is a beautiful figure. This actually is the best looking Thor I have saw in so long. Honestly, it is. Lo Thor, Love, and Thunder, I was not a fan of. I thought it was more comedy and mischief than, like, the first and the second movies. Uh, I'm a little disappointed because Thor is one of my favorite Marvel. Um, he's definitely one of my favorite Marvel action figures. Well, he's one of my favorite Marvel characters, forgive me. And so, this Thor does come with a lot, and I am pleased. I'm very pleased. Look at this. Beautifully sculpted. Um, he comes with um, two changeable hands. And um, now this is a builder figure. Just like um, the Cannonball character, This you create a Sentinel, so... I'm going to try to collect all of them so I can get this. I guess he's a Sentinel. I'm assuming. So I don't have it all the way, but I'll get him together. 
and Quake. I know I have Quake, so I gotta find out where um, I did with her piece. It's probably this drawer. That's why. That's why normally when I get like extra pieces and everything. Excuse me, gang. I did not put that in the trash. It fell right out the bag. When I normally um, get extra weapons and all of that for my characters, I normally put them in this drawer. So if I end up do getting some future characters, then I know I can look for the pieces in here. Because I have a big old tote full of just miscellaneous stuff from the past that maybe somebody needs. <laughs> maybe somebody want to buy it one day. I'll get to show them on my reels one day what I do, what I'll have. So back to the business here's my buddy thor my favorite looking thor character and um he looks good look at his hammer come on now and he comes with um a lightning bolt but you know what's crazy did i not take them hands out no i did not i'll be so if, if I, i'm like this and i'm wrong for this if the character has hands that I like, I don't be worried about these fist hands. Like, I'm, when my rest was, I don't care about fist hands. But he does come with two sets of hands. Um, two fists. If y'all can see, I hope my lightning, my lightning is not all that great. But um, he does come with lightning. See, this is what I'm talking about with Cannonball. They could have had Cannonball some lightning. And look at that, look at that. But we're not done yet. So, he does come with two crows. That's why I love this because Thor in the comic books was an evil, but there was a dark ring about him a little bit that made him not an anti, I don't think he was anti, but more so that darkness fuels the greater good out of him. That's why I love about this Thor character. And he does come with two crows. And I'm pleased that he comes with this because I remember in the comic books he had. Um, I, I guess maybe the crows could. Maybe I'll super glue it onto his shoulder. I don't know. It's all about that. But I mean, he's very he's very well detailed, sculpted. Look at that. This is the best looking Thor figure I've ever seen. I'm not playing game. Look at them eyes. Them eyes don't tell a lie. They just strike you. So, um, I just wish Marvel would make more figures like this very well detailed. Look at his feet. His feet are, I mean, this man can stand up. Like, I'm just, I'm pleased with this figure. This is what I like. Perfection. And, um, I'm for sure in years to come, he's going to be online for a lot of money. That's why I'm real... How can I say it? I'm biased when it comes to buying two, three figures and dolls and action figures at a time. I'm serious because I'll buy three figures, one for my display and one for my wall. And then maybe the third one I can just sell down the road. It depends. It depends. But other than that, this figure gets a 10 out of a 10 for me. I will highly recommend him for your Marvel collection. It's the best of the Thor figure. I don't care what nobody says. Um... One of my favorite um, YouTubers, I haven't watched him in so long, I forgot his name, but I know he's from Great Britain, and um, he talked about this a couple months ago, and, I, and um, what was his name? I can't think of his name, but I'm going to talk about him in future videos. He's, a, he's, he's my inspiration. He's kind of gave me the drive to want to start YouTubing and getting my content in better creation and representation. So... Um, Definitely get this figure, gang. Please get this figure. I'm going to show him one more time. Come for two crows, and come on now. So, you have it. Cannonball and Thor. So, please like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm very humble. Thank you to my new subscribers. Every it seems like every time I upload some reels, my subscribers come in. And I'm humbly grateful, and I want to build my platform to please my subscribers to the fullest demand and height. And everyone, thank you for tuning in to The Boy with the Pampers and the Toys. Everyone have a great day. I know I gotta go work. <laughs>